today's HealthCast. Scientists discover a possible therapy to treat glaucoma, which is the second leading cause of blindness in our world. Glaucoma is a result of a loss of function by the optic nerve, but a new study uh, done by the National Eye Institute found a form of gene therapy could protect and even preserve optic nerve cells, at least it's doing so in mouse models now. It's an impressive finding. It's in a high-profile journal. However, these are studies in mice, and we're a little larger than mice in general. Um, so it has yet to be translated into clinical studies in humans. However, it is a good proof of principle, especially since the vectors they used to give these genes into the cells are similar to the ones that we use currently in human gene therapy studies. Very encouraging news here. Dr. Richard Lee, who you see here with Baskin Palmer Eye Institute at the UM Miller School of Medicine, says because of those ongoing gene therapy studies, a real world application could be available out there in just the next couple of years. Glaucoma, by the way, does affect an estimated 3 million Americans. And when it comes to protecting your heart from vascular aging, exercise alone apparently just doesn't cut it. A small study of heart health in older obese people found that reducing a caloric intake along with exercise does improve your heart function. It only took a modest calorie re restriction as well, about 250 calories a day, to see a big improvement in vascular health.